Hey, everyone, Ace is Beast. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am talking about the ultimate bucket list, the ultimate joy of a lifetime, the ultimate experience of a lifetime. And that's exactly why you clicked on the link. Before I begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. So what I'm talking about today is living on a cruise ship for one year. So first thing that we're going to get started with right away is how much it's going to cost you to live on a cruise ship for a year. So for single occupancy, what I've researched, it costs an estimate of anywhere between seventy to eighty thousand dollars a year. The second part is, is well, for a double occupancy, so you can take somebody else. It's going to cost you right around one twenty-five a year. That includes all your taxes, your port fees, and uh, of course the gratuity. So, what is included with this cruise? So, what's included with this cruise? is breakfast, lunch, and dinner is all taken care of. You go down to the buffet, you eat to your heart's content, and then you you go on about your business. Most entertainment is free. You have a big old pool, you have your workout room, and you have basically the whole ship that you, you can be able to explore. So that's the biggest benefit of it is, number one, you don't have to make your bed. Number two, you don't have to clean your house. And number three, you don't have to cook for yourself. All for a glorious price of approximately $125,000 a year. Uh, depending on what kind of a room that you want, it could go all the way up to Mr. Beast cost of uh, to about a million and a half a year. Or you can live in the world's most expensive apartments, which is basically a big cruise liner as well, for the rest of your life. Now, we're going to talk, well, oh yeah, and it also includes the Wi-Fi. Most ships do not have free Wi-Fi. You have to pay for it during the cruise. But since you're going to pay for an entire year cruise, you can probably negotiate that into the price and lower your price just a little bit. So, that, that's all the big pros of this whole cruise minus, well, some of the cost. But, you know, you see what you have with the cost. You're upgrading your lifestyle to a life and lifestyle on a cruise ship. Personally, if that was the case, and I was about eh, about uh, mid-tier YouTuber, you know, somebody that makes somewhere between one to three hundred thousand dollars a year, I'd probably live on a cruise ship for one or two years. I'd pay for it. I don't have to worry about the, uh, we'll get back to that eventually. So, what are the big pros of, uh, I mean, well, I've already talked about the pros. I'll talk about some more pros later on. Let's talk about the cons. So, what are the negative effects of living on a cruise ship? Well, number one, your best friends change all the time. Uh, I would say, and what I've researched is probably about 15 or 20% of the people that are living on a ship are residents. The rest of them that are living on the ship is, well, it's staff members, it's your crew members, and then of course the rest of it are all your vacation tourists. So you're constantly having new friends boarding the ship all the time. So that's probably one of the cons is you really don't get a chance to know anybody. The second thing is, is if you're going to live on a cruise ship for an entire year, one of the biggest cons is that you have to try and get along with just about every staff member on board. The reason is, if you don't, number one, you can get kicked off. Number two, you can get kicked off. Number three, you're going to have the worst experience imaginable. Number four, you can possibly get kicked off. Once you get kicked off, you've lost a lot of money. Now. So you have to get along with the staff members, and the staff not, and the staff know that. They know within limits that they could actually say no to you once in a while. So you have to make sure that you get along with all the staff members and, never, and not try and get too entitled because, well, they're waiting on your hand and foot. 
So that's one of the cons. The other con is, is you're on the, you're on the water all the time. You can't just say, you know what, I've got cabin fever. I'm going to jump into my car and go for a ride. Well, in this case, is it even legal to steal a lifeboat and go for a cruise? <laughs> I don't think so. So, you cannot jump into your car and just get away from it all. You're on a cruise ship. And then I'd say the last con is as well, you eat the buffet a lot. And that sometimes that gets a little old. Because you don't really have the variety of what you are eating unless you decide to go into the specialty restaurants. Specialty restaurants cost money. It's not part of the package. The uh, drinks, the beer, the hard liquor, depending on what cruise that you buy, that's not included in the package. The gambling is not included in the package. And, well, you have to make sure that you're a little bit on your best behavior. Because if you get into a, into a fight with another person on the ship, you're off the ship. So that's some of the cons of on a cruise ship. Sometimes the Wi-Fi wi is spotty because it doesn't connect with the satellite. And there may be days that you're stuck, in, you're stuck indoors because, well, that ship's going through a storm. And the deck's getting rained on. <coughs> so you're stuck inside. So that's, those are some of the cons that I see. You don't really get a chance to get off the ship except for when you have a port of call. Now here's one of the biggest advantages of taking a cruise for a year is you get a chance to literally see the world. You get to go to all kinds of different ports, you get to go to all kinds of cities and countries and places you've never been. You also get a chance to cross the, uh, what do they call it, uh, the Meridian Strait or something like that, or the, where the east meets the west and you can see the line of uh, the gray Atlantic to the blue Pacific and you get a chance to see that you get a better chance of seeing the northern lights you get to see all kinds of sea life you get to meet all kinds of people and you're at all kinds of ports to you could shop to your heart's desire now there's a lot of different there's a lot of cons there's a lot of pros but the more that I look at it, the more I've researched what, uh, I mean, the cruise ship. And, well, yeah, I'll be, I'll be in my, I'll have my cabin, I'll have, um, all, all my, ta all my, uh, my room taken care of all the time. Uh, food's being prepared for me all the time. I don't have to worry about housekeeping. I don't have to worry about, well, pesky neighbors for a long time. I don't have to worry about bad drivers. I don't even have to worry about the news or the media. I'm in my own country. And it really sounds like something that somebody would even dream or an experience of a lifetime or a bucket list item that, you know, you could spend a whole life living on a cruise ship and not have to worry about anybody or anything. But the more I think about it is, I would miss the days that I would want to go to the mountains. Or if all of a sudden I, there's a day that I want to go to the mountains and I say, you know what, I would just want to go to the desert. I want to go to the, I want to go to the beach. I can't make that choice on a, on a cruise ship. I don't know if they allow you to fish off of a cruise ship. And I'd like to go fishing once in a while. And I don't think if they have very many pets on on a uh, cruise ship, so I'll, meet, uh, I'll uh, miss my lab. And I'm kind of a family guy, so I kind of miss my mom and my dad and, and my brothers. Well, sort of my brother. Ah, I miss my brother. But I'd miss them too. I mean, I would, bas I would basically be a hermit on a cruise ship 
trying to socialize and make new friends every time that ship goes to port of call. So, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Has anybody else, has anybody watching this video ever done a, uh, a cruise of any kind? The only type of cruise I did was out for about three or four hours. I had a seven course meal with my wife on my anniversary in Hawaii watching the sunset and then coming back. And that was, that was absolutely a magnificent time. But I don't know if I could actually handle being on a cruise ship for a year. So has anybody here been on a cruise? Let alone, would you do a cruise ship for a year? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you uh, let your friends and family know. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Until next time, let's keep on surfing. Keep on rocking. I love you all.